to create a smart flow, go to tools tab. Then on under productivity suite, you can click on smart flows. So when you click on smart flows, the already available smart flows are listed. So that two categories for smart flow, the personal smart flow and the office smart flow. To create a new smart flow under each of the category, you have to click on new button. You have to enter the name of the smart flow. In our case, then you can give a description of the smart phone, what it does. And in the smart flow editor, you have to right away start writing the uh, cryptic commands. So as we know, uh, we we have a price piano of which we have you we have seen the validating error. And if that is BA, then you have to add a remark. So we'll right away start with adding a remark, which is BA ticket issued. After that, you have to save the changes. So you'll do ER. Now at times in the ER command, you get a warning. So it's always a best practice to do two ERs because it does not uh, give any problem if even if the first ER gives the issuance, the PNI is safe, the next ER will uh, give ignore, but it will work. And in case where the first ER has a warning, the second ER will actually save the PNI. After that, we have to issue the ticket. BTP again, BTP RT is the advised command here because in our case, after the ticket issuance, we have to queue it on a, on a particular queue. So if we do just a TTP, the context of the PNI is lost and we have to retrieve the record locator again. However, with TTP RT, it not only issues the ticket but also uh, keeps the uh, uh, active state of the PNI so that we can right away queue it. So after that, you can do QE. C zero. So this is all the steps that we would like to have, and we can just save it. You can edit the smart flow as many number of times as you want. The yellow line will show that it is actually saved, and please make sure that the show in your smart flows is always checked because then only it will appear in your smart flows link. So after that, we'll go to our command page. So for Mari, Mari will go and retrieve the PNR. We can take the same PNR reference, which is given in the uh, example, which is this WC3R85. Oh, 84. So here, if you can see, this is the PNR. So you can just go and this is your smart flow. You can just click on here and this will execute. So you can see the commands running here. So if you've seen that, the commands that have done is here. So we have added RMBA ticket issue denied. It has added as the remark. Then we have receive from user, which has been added. Then we did the ER. With the first ER only, it got saved. So the second ER, give finish or ignore, but still the context is there. So right away we can do a DTPRT, need TST. And thereafter, you can right away issue the ticket, and then you can do the queuing comment.